Okay, so hello and welcome back to another Unity C Sharp Bite Size tutorial. Today we'll be covering mouse events as a way to interact with your user interface. You might be used to using the built-in button component, for example, for when you click and then do a callback, but there are other cases where you need to do things, such as when your cursor enters something, or perhaps when you're dragging something, you might want to drag an icon around. So we'll be covering that today. I hope you're looking forward to it. Let's get started. So the setup for today's video, I've just got a canvas with some icons in here. They're just images with a mouse event example script, which currently has no code in it, okay? So just some different icons with a script on it. So there's two ways to do the thing I'm going to show. There's like the quick and simple way, which I'll show first, then the way in code afterwards. You're still gonna have to write code at the end of the day. This just depends on how you want to do it. So one thing we can do is use the built-in event trigger module or component, sorry, where you can then add an event type and you see all these different event types. And then for example, on point to enter, you get a Unity event and then from that you can do whatever you like, yeah? So you can, for example, say when you mouse over this, we want to set the game object's name to be hi, for example, okay? You press play. Now, I don't know which icon this is, probably the one at the top left. We can find out which one it is. There we go, we mouse over the middle, it changed its name to hi, okay? So you can do things with this component, but if you want to write more complex logic, you obviously have to do it in code. And at the end of the day, you could rely on these events to then call your code, but it's actually a lot easier to just use the built-in interfaces that I'll show you in a minute. Okay, so remember that this script is on all the objects I just showed you. It's on all the draggable icons. So if we now go I pointer enter handler, which is the same as what we just did with the event, we can now write some code in here to do the same thing. So name equals hi. So this means that whenever the pointer enters something with the script on, this method will be called. We've got some extra data here we can use if we need to. And then we can do whatever logic we want, such as setting the name to be high. We press play. Now, whenever we mouse over something with the script on, you'll notice in the hierarchy on the left, the names all get changed to high. We can then use the opposite. I pointer exit handler. Okay. Implement that. And then we can do the same, like setting the name equal to by. Okay. So now as we move the mouse over and off, so over in a second when it loads, hi, bye, hi, bye. Okay. You get the point. So now they're all by, but for most of when it goes high, then back to by. Okay, let's make it a little bit more interesting. So if we just make a private image image, and then on start, we'll just say image equals get component image. So now on start, we cache, whoops, sorry, we cache the image. And then over here, we just need to say image.color equals, and then a new color, we'll say red. Okay, so that's, that's red, because it's RGBA. And then we copy this and to make it go back to white when we leave, we'll just say one, 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 like so. And now when we go press play, it should all work. So press play, give it a second. And now mouse over red, mouse off white. Okay, so now it happens on all of them when we do this. So that's nice, but now we might want to do some things such as moving the position by clicking and dragging. Currently we don't have that behavior, so let's make it. So to do this, we need to go to the interfaces and add the I drag handler, implement the interface, go down to the method, and we simply want to say every frame while we're dragging, set the position of this object to be the mouse position, which is in the new Unity input system, mouse.current.position.revalue. This just means, as I said, every single frame whilst we're dragging, whilst the mouse is down on this object, will move it to be wherever the mouse is, like so, okay? Now, when we release, it lets go wherever we are, okay? In certain games, like for example, if you're dragging an item around and you release, then maybe you release in the wrong place, so it snaps back to where it was. You'll have to write some logic to say, uh, store the image at the start, at the position, sorry. And then we can use the I pointer up, so I pointer up and I pointer down, okay? These two handlers is for when you click on it and when you release. Um, usually I prefer putting it in the order that it happens, so it's actually down, drag, up, okay? Let's implement down and implement up. So if we put the down, put the drag, okay. So what do we want to do when we click? Well, let's say uh, debug, no, actually let, let's cache the position, okay? So if we say, um, let's store a private vector free, uh, original pause, as in position, when we put our mouse down, original pause equals the current position. Then we move it here, and then when we release, we want to say um, transform.position equals original pause. Put the semicolon there. So mouse down, get where we are, drag, update our position, release, 
put us back to the start. If we try this again, we actually have a compile error, so let's go see what that is. Um, oh, I just had an extra comma on the end, that's okay, let's remove it and press play again. Let's test it out, so if I mouse over an object, drag it over here, and then release, it goes back to the start, okay? And obviously it works for all of them, so just drag them around and release, it works, like so. So obviously this isn't every single event, there's the other ones I showed you on the component earlier. One last one I'm going to explain though, because it's a commonly used one, is the drop handler. So if we press control dot, implement it, scroll down. The on drop method is called whenever you release something on top of this. So you can imagine you have an inventory or a hotbar or something, and you drag an item into your inventory on a slot. You might want to assign it to that slot. So on the actual slot itself that you're dragging it onto, you'd have this. And then this will be called whenever you release like an item onto it. So then you can go and see what item it is. You could say event data, uh, oops, event data dot drag, pointer drag dot game object. Okay. Then you can do whatever you want, like get component um, and you can get component, whatever your thing is. So it's called like, you know, item button or something and then dot like get item. It really depends on your game. Um, in this case, just to prove it works, we can just say like var a equals like this. And I'll put a breakpoint here, attached, okay? So we'll put the debugger on. And now, um, keep an eye on the names over here. So I'm gonna drag a draggable icon one, for example, which is, I think it's the one above it. No, it's the one over here. We're gonna drag this one onto this one, release. So this game object should be called draggable icon one. We mouse over it, it is, okay? And then with this game object, we can do whatever we want. We can get component, we can delete it, we can do whatever it is that your game desires. But yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. Let me know down below what you want to see next. If you've got any questions, ask down below. Thanks everyone for watching. I'll see you guys next time and goodbye. But of course, first before I go, I've got to thank my patrons. A special thanks to John Selig, Liz Kimber, Drendy, LN, Fabian Reno, Melvin, Zumran, David McDermott, Exit, Josh Folsom, Beard I, Dustin Miller, Rec, Yoris Letter, Rene, Remy Baldwin, and Jay Donald. If anyone else is able to help support the channel monetarily, link to my Patreons down below. If not, there are also links down below to other social media, such as Twitch, Twitter, and Discord. If you could help me out by following on any of those, that'd be greatly appreciated. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.